starving. Where's mom? I don't know. Go out and play. <laughs> what are you hiding? Nothing. You have food there. I know it. No, I don't. <laughs> Tang residue. <laughs> you glutton. Hey, another great morning. Didn't sleep at all last night with Steve's stupid car alarm going off. Of course, then that wakes up your mother, and I got to talk to her. You almost lost your daddy last night, kids. What are you hiding? Nothing. Finished off the tang on me again, eh? Well, your dad still has a few tricks left in his tired old body. <laughs> tang wipe. Am I stuffed? You know, you just gotta try that slam dunk breakfast at Kippy's. Pancakes, bacon, sausage, eggs. I finally had to say, stop, I, I can't eat anymore. Peg, what do you do with all the money I give you for food? I just told you. <laughs> Peg, you wanna get that? It's probably the homeless on their It Could Be Worse tour. <laughs> I just stopped by to apologize if Steve's car alarm kept you up last night. He's out of town, and it's his first night away from his new Mercedes, so he set his alarm on ultra-sensitive. The slightest touch, and it goes off all night. Does it have a brother? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but you can't blame him. It's a magnificent piece of machinery. So how's it drive? How should I know? He won't let me near it. <laughs> well, consider yourself lucky. The thing you can't touch is in the garage. Mine is in the bedroom. <laughs> Mom, Bud found a cornflake between the refrigerator and the sink, and he won't share. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come on, kids. This may be against everything I believe in, but I'm taking you out to breakfast. All right! Uh, now, kids, now, when we get to the restaurant, something strange will happen. A woman will bring you food. Now, uh... <laughs> Don't be scared, she's called a waitress. <laughs> it's just God's alternative to mommy's. Boy, squabbling over a meal. Thank God Steve's a liberated man and cooks for me. Hey, why don't you cook for the family, Al? Mom, no, please. Do you remember last summer? Tortilla night and the resulting plumbing problem? And I thought you loved us. Come on, man. I don't know why those tortillas exploded like that. You know, sometimes I get so mad I could just kill that man. I like to think that I am. <laughs> I meant Steve. Peggy, when Al got his new car, did he let you drive it? A few times. Once he had no brakes and someone had to take it to the mechanic. <laughs> Listen, Peggy, can I borrow your car? I need to go to the supermarket. My car doesn't go there. What's wrong with your car? It's in the shop. Just take his car. It's your car, too. Look, don't let him start thinking he can have things of his own. It's the road to ruin. You know, it's taken me 16 years, but I am proud to say that Al finally has nothing. <laughs> Just go for a ride in your Mercedes, Mars. I don't know. I'd have to change the seat and the mirrors. It took him weeks to set them just right. What do you care what he wants? Look, Al doesn't like me blowing smoke in his eggs. What am I supposed to do? Stop smoking? <laughs> You're right. Of course. I'm taking his car for a drive. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change all the preset stations on his radio. <laughs> He's an idiot. It is my car, too. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in reverse, then shift into drive without coming to a complete stop. <laughs> oh, man. 